Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a wavy line gravity dyed hoodie. This is another one of the buffalo hoodies which I purchased from Costco. And these are really soft. They're a woman's hoodie and they're made of 70% viscous, 16% cotton, 11% polyester, and 3% elastane. If you don't have a Costco in your area, they do sell them online. To start, I'm going to draw a random wavy diagonal line from one shoulder of the hoodie to the opposite corner of the hoodie. Now I'm going to fan fold this line and I'm going to tie it with some sinew. This fabric is really soft, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to fan fold just simply because since the fabric isn't as stiff and crisp, it doesn't hold the folds quite as well as, say, a 100% cotton shirt would. But this is a design that doesn't need to have nice, crisp fan folds. It's more just about dividing the shirt into two sections. So once I got the hoodie fan folded, the fold was really wide or the fabric was really wide and I didn't think that it would work to use sinew. So I started out by tying it with some kite string. I'm trying to keep my folds flat and I'm trying to tie the kite string pretty tight around the folds. Once I had them tied with kite string, that will hold them in place so that I can put the sinew around and hopefully get a little bit of a definition line there. If you notice when I start to pull on the sinew, I'm placing my hand flat on top of the folds and slowly pulling to try to keep them from buckling. I'm gonna wrap it several times and try to pull it as tightly as I can. I'm still not 100% confident that I'm gonna get a nice white line here, but I will at least have some form of definition line in between the two sides of the shirt. I'm going to do a gravity ice dye on this hoodie. So my setup is I have a metal drying rack and I've placed a piece of vinyl guttering upside down on the drying rack. I've placed the hoodie across the guttering and I'm going to apply two different colors of dye to this hoodie. On one side, I'm using indigo from custom colors. And on the other side, I'm going to use stormy sky from pro chemical and dye. I know indigo doesn't really split, but Stormy Sky has some really pretty color splits. So I thought the darker blue mixed with the Stormy Sky would be a good color combination. Now I'm gonna add some additional dry soda ash over the top of the dye and add on a fairly large chunk of ice that I made from a disposable container. After this first chunk of ice melted, I came back and added a second chunk of ice because the dye hadn't gone quite as far down the hoodie as I wanted it to. Then after the second chunk of ice melted, there was still some white left on the hoodie, but I wanted to see what it looked like if I didn't kind of force all the dye all the way to the outer edges. I wanted to leave a little bit of white and see how that looked. So I put the hoodie inside of a plastic container that has a metal rack down in the bottom, placed the lid on the container, and left it outside to process. It was in the 90s, so I only left the hoodie for probably about 18 hours. Then I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I untied the hoodie and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to try to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. I ended up going ahead and soaking the hoodie for a little while in some really hot water with a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent. I kept changing out the water when it would cool off and continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the hoodie along with some of Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. So now the hoodie's been washed and dried and this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you think? I think this one looks really pretty, I like it. 
These hoodies dye up really nice. I really like the fabric and it's so super soft. It's going to be really nice to wear. As far as the colors go, I love Stormy Sky. I think it is a beautiful color. I love all the cool color splits that come out of Stormy Sky. Right up next to the line is kind of like a reddish type color and then it streams into kind of a turquoisey blue color. And then in the hood area, it's kind of a pink color. I think it's really cool. I like that. As far as the indigo goes, it didn't change or split, which I didn't expect it to. But I thought that that dark color on the bottom would look really good up next to the lighter stormy sky. And I'm not disappointed with it. I do think it looks pretty. I like all the color movement on the hoodie right up next to the line where it kind of streaks away. I think that looks really cool. The sleeves, they don't have a whole bunch of dye on them, but they don't look bad. I mean, I purposely wanted a little bit of white left. I thought it might look cool just to have the color streaming out into that. And it does. So I don't mind the fact that it's not all blue. As with any of these gravity dyes, I do have a few odd and end little flecks of color here and there, but for the most part, I think it's a really pretty hoodie. But what do you guys think? Do you like it? Drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you haven't tried Pro Chemicals Stormy Sky, that's a color that you might want to put on your list because it is such a pretty color. Pro Chemical Stormy Sky, Spicy Plum, and Dusty Purple are three of my favorite colors from them for color splits. They have a lot of other pretty colors too, but those are the ones that I reach for whenever I want just a big wow from the color splits. And if you haven't tried any of the Buffalo hoodies, you might want to add that to your list too. These are just really nice. Unfortunately, they're a women's style, and I don't know that they make a men's style. I haven't ever seen one online or in the stores. I had a viewer ask whether or not the style was one that a man could wear, and I really don't know. I haven't had any of the men that live in my house try them on. But they are sized for a woman, and they were listed as a woman's hoodie. I've included some side photos so that you can see that the hoodie actually looks really cool from the side. Even though there's not a whole lot of dye on the sleeves, I still think they look great with the rest of the hoodie. I noticed too that the drawstrings for the most part stayed the same color. They didn't really dye. But they will dye if you have them like tied up or in an area where the dye actually gets to that space. These were at the bottom of the hoodie, so the way the dye was flowing, it didn't flow that far down and they didn't actually get dyed. So overall, I really like the hoodie. What do you guys think? Drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you've enjoyed watching me experiment with another one of the Buffalo hoodies, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.